Welcome back, Movie Misfits, and happy Throwback Thursday to you. Today's episode of Junk Dwarf Flicks will be focusing on The Stupid, starring Tom Arnold. April Fools! Today's Junk Drawer focus will be on another holiday slasher movie, April Fools' Day. April Fools' Day was released in 1986 from Paramount Pictures. And you're probably wondering, another holiday slasher flick from Paramount Pictures? Well, that is because Frank Mancuso Jr. is producing this film as well, who also executive produced the Friday the 13th films from Paramount, also executive produced this film as well. So there you go, another holiday slasher flick that isn't Friday the 13th. Although you will see some Friday the 13th alumni in this film. Speaking of Friday the 13th alumni, we got Amy Steele from Friday the 13th Part 2 in this film. So you pretty much have an idea that she might make it till the end of the movie since she's a pretty good final girl. The casting of this film is actually pretty awesome. It's actually very 80s. I'm not even going to say their real names. I'm just going to go by their character names that we would probably know them from. Uh, my name is Mary O'Reilly O'Toole O'Shea. And, uh... Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Was Paramount Pictures ahead of its time? Did they actually do a found footage film before there was a found footage horror genre? Well, let me sum up the movie for you. So basically a group of college friends, invited by their best friend Muffy, stay at her house over the weekend on a private island. And as you would guess... All this is taking place on April Fool's Day weekend. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that Rick and Deborah from Just One of the Guys? So they did get back together at the end of the movie. Now we know. Oh, then we have the stripper student from summer school in here. Well, if they would have just added Chainsaw and Day, we would have had one heck of an 80s cast for this film. So while they're visiting their best friend, Muffy, who's actually very rich and has her own house on this private little island over here, Things start going a little weird with April Fool's pranks, typical drunken nights. However, house guests start disappearing. So while people are disappearing on this island and still April Fool's Day pranks are happening, their friend Muffy's acting very strange. As the movie goes along, we're down to two people. What do you know? It's Final Girl Amy Steele and it's the stripper guy from summer school. And we're basically learning the mysteries of this house, which they are currently staying at. As 80s holiday slasher flicks goes, this film is very underrated. This film is actually a lot of fun. I remember seeing this as a kid. And I remember the soundtrack actually used to scare me. The thing with the jack-in-a-box in this film, that used to like terrify me. Not so much of what it was, but the whole suspense and the tension that was building up. And also the soundtrack with it as well. This kind of always made me be like... April Fool's Day is a fun ride and it's entertaining and it's made from the producers of Friday the 13th. So I would definitely check it out. April Fool's Day is currently streaming right now on Amazon Prime. So I would, it's definitely worth the trip back in time to 1980s slasher flicks. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit and I'll see you at the movies. Hi, my name is Mary O'Toole O'Reilly O'Shea and I want to go to convent school and, and things like that. Welcome. Welcome to my home and lifestyles of the rich and undeserving. Get more out of life. Go out to a movie.